You got to take a look in the mirror. Listen, if you just got here to head it straight up, one thing that I always tell people that just beyond when you walk in that door, you got to take a look at yourself and realize that you, I, you can say that you want to do better and you want things better in your life, but there's another step and it's called the process. You're going to have to work through a process of challenges and making changes in personal growth and it's gonna affect every single area of your life. You can use everything that you've been through up to this point as education on what not to do. <laughs> A lot of this stuff, right? How many people have learned what not to do at this point? You wanna learn what not to do, right? I know I have. When I look back, I can see a lot of examples of decisions that I don't wanna make again. And so it inspires me to think about decisions that I can make that are better moving forward. When you take a look in the mirror, the first thing you got to do is be honest with yourself. You got to be honest with yourself about what you see and you got to take accountability. There came a time in my life where I could look in the mirror and I could go, dang, I'm where I'm at because I did it. I messed up. It was my fault because a lot of a lot of my life, I like to blame circumstances and people and, and stuff like that. But when the spirit of truth came in my life, I was able to realize that I was the problem. It wasn't the, the people, the places, and the things. It was me and it was my selfish attitude. It was my selfish desires. The fact that I just wanted to do things for myself and everything I wanted to do was about me. So when I came to that realization and I was able to look at myself and realize, hey, I'm the reason that I'm in this season. I'm the reason that I'm in this situation that I'm in. And for me, those situations in jail and prison, they were not good places. When I was looking at myself in the mirror, the mirror wasn't even actually a mirror. It was a piece of metal and I could barely see myself. It was actually really a, a, a dim version of myself because I was a reflection of metal because that's what they got hanging on the wall in the prison. If you got a mirror in, in your cell, but if you do, it's a piece of metal and you look at it and you can barely see yourself. Like you can't really even like get it, get something off your face or something. You just, you just see your reflection, right? That's all I could see was just the reflection really, not the details. But I seen enough to know that I was the reason that I was where I was at. 